This is the DGI Phantom. Now, this is the Phantom Vision Plus, baby. Phantom Vision 2 Plus, baby, with that there camera man gonna get her done. Got them there controller type things, man, with some accessories. Now, uh, to be honest, I actually have quite a bit of experience uh, piloting UAVs, okay? And I have quite a bit of experience servicing UAVs. I started on remote controlled types of <clears throat> professional grade gear. God, 20... Five, six years ago, okay? My first experience with remote controlled um, vehicles was through the dune buggy type things through the RC-10. And then I got, went into racing them and I would race them uh, competitively. And that was when I wasn't racing uh, mountain bikes and doing that type stuff. Uh, I never raced road bikes. Uh, that wasn't my shit. But cross-country mountain biking and uh, racing RC-10s. I raced RC-10s in the off-season and mountain bikes. Um, you know, when I could fit all this into my life, okay? This is going to college, doing everything else, da-da-da-da, doing the weekend thing. And uh, trying not to party too hard. <clears throat> now, since I have that many years with UAVs in... Uh, both my private life and also job applications, I, my brother actually purchased me uh, this drone to start experimenting with that because we've, we've talked about it and this, there, or the other, and, and done a lot of things. And, and we can use these in, a, in an app application in our type of business for doing aerial photography and aerial surveillance and that type of stuff. So we started with this thing, which is about the easiest or the cheapest way to do it. may not be the easiest, and I'm going to give you a few caveats to that. What you're looking at basically is $1,300 for the drone and the remote controller. Now, <clears throat> this remote control is not the new one. Now, this is the one that does not have the actual tilt control on the controller. And... A few other different things. It doesn't have the new motors. It doesn't have the new props. It doesn't have the new shielding for the GPS. And I'll get into kind of all of that here in a second. But this is your Vision uh, DJI Phantom Vision 2. Now, you're going to notice that mine's different than some other people's because mine doesn't have these red stickers. That's because mine's been a part probably as much time as it's been together. Why? Because I'm trying to understand the platform. I have done things like put these guards on it. We painted the front ones yellow because I got a lot of my information off another YouTuber, which is Demon Seed. And, you know, he's not a satanic devil worshiper, uh, nor prophesizing the, the coming of the, of the, of the, you know, <coughs> you know, Satan or anything like that. Guy's actually kind of a uh, a nerd type guy. Um, I'm a nerd, so I can recognize that <laughs> in other people. Um, and he does aerial photography, this, there, the other, da, 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 and California type people. And uh, we're out in that type of area of the world, man. He ain't like in the East Coast, dude, man. And so he's like, you know, there we go. So here's what we have in this type of aerial platform. The reason this is a drone and not a UAV. Now, you can use this as a UAV and just fly it and let the electronics, because quadcopters, the electronics in them are quite sophisticated, man. Because <laughs> it's like, I can't like... Without a computer, dude, I can't, like, make it, like, do its thing, man. Because I can't, like, control full props independently, this, that, or the other. Especially with the two, like, joysticks, man. So, the software and the electronics do a tremendous amount uh, to make this actually work. Now, my advice to you is, 
get these thingamabobs, which are the guards. Paint the front ones yellow, just like Demon Seed recommends. And remember, only use your long screws for these. And when you put it back in, when you take them off, put the short screws back in. Because if not, you're going to fuck up your motors. When you fuck up your motors, you're going to spend a shitload of bucks, baby. Like 160 this there or the other. Now, I got, in my, for my thing, my accessories that I purchased, I purchased a screw set, an entire screw set. I've purchased extra propellers. I've purchased prop guards, baby. <laughs> yeah. And I've prop purchased extra landing gear. And then you can go as far as I had to go and pur purchase a whole new shell. Now, all of this can be put in this new shell. <laughs> and made to work. Now, why is that that I have done all of this? Now, my Phantom also came with two batteries. And we can test the power of that battery right there. It's good. You got four lights, man. You full power, man. Gonna get her done, boy. <coughs> now, the new controller does not have removable batteries where I've got this in there. Energizer lithium, man. And then this thing is chargeable through that mini USB, which is your radio extender. Which actually, what it does is it takes that there uh, phone em type em device em, and then you put it on there. You clamp it on there, and then you can see what is coming through that there camera type device. Now let's talk about that camera type device for this Vision Plus. And this is just kind of a general overview in this there or the other. But Remove before flight. You're, you know, never been around avionics. That's something a tag you ought to recognize. Before you fly this thing, you've got to remove that there piece, man. Then you've got that there gimbal. And this gimbal, once powered up, you know, wants to stabilize the picture, this there or the other, and I'm leaving the, the, the protector on there. Uh, <clears throat> this thing is extremely fragile in one aspect. This rotating axis, okay, is only held on by the magnet. Well, you can see that I have an extra actual bolted on clamp, and I got this from acedeals.biz, and that keeps this part from coming apart and ripping this cable right here. So I have two accessories. I bought this off Amazon very cheaply. I bought three of them, I think, just because I expect to go farther in the drone type deal because this was just a beginning. Room before flight on that part. And then got that clamp right there. The clamp protects your camera. Protects it in ways in which you will never understand uh, because this is $650 just for the camera if you destroy it. So, that $20 clamp that you get from Ace Deals that screws on there will possibly protect your $650 camera. And, at worst case, it will protect a $60 ribbon cable uh, that if you have a hard impact with the ground, this could come apart and then rip your, rip your ribbon cable. So at least it saves you 60 bucks. It may save you 650 bucks. It may save you a lot of downtime. It may save this there or the other. You got to understand in all of my videos, I take into account opportunity costs. And if you have a loss of opportunity costs, which means you have the opportunity to make money or do something else during that time, the time wasted fixing these things becomes important. It gets to a point to where it's not justifiable and then you basically ditch it and move the hell on because the opportunity cost of revenue production basically goes into something else. Now, um, that's my basic general overview. Some of the recommendations of things that I would do. I'd definitely get this. I would definitely get that little $20 thing. And anything else is just, you know, da da da. When you're just learning how to do it, now I know I'm a trained UAV pilot, uh, certified with different types of UAVs, 
But this drone type situation, man, just had me like going, what in the hell is going on, man? Because like the like the the drone part of it, man, that GPS dude can like take control of this thing and start taking it somewhere else. It's gonna have a fly away, baby. Well, this thing can do it. And uh, unfortunately, the drawback to this type of UAV is actually the fact that it is a drone. Um, and it's the one part of it that I don't really like. Uh, even in 20 or 30 mile per hour winds, which I uh, typically get in my environment, I would much rather have the more up-to-date version, which just came out this last December, with the new motors and new props, um, because that would allow me to fly it more as a UAV and be able to compensate more for 20 and 30 mile per hour winds at higher elevations. But sometimes these things think they're somewhere that they're not okay so they will take their ass off and start going to where home is and home ain't nowhere near uh, where you're at and then you will have a flyaway um, that's just something that that has to be dealt with i believe it's been dealt with in the newer version of this one this, as i said this is the phantom vision 2 plus or phantom 2 vision plus or i don't fucking know who cares all this shit changes. Um, now, this is January 2015. This is already a, a, an older model. They have a newer model out, uh, which has, of course, rechargeable batteries, has that gimbal thing, has power, more powerful motors with much better windings and uh, more powerful propellers. Um, you can tell the difference if you're flying two of them side by side, um, that there is a much different... Uh, man thing in the air man it's like it's like a sound man you just kind of like take it in dude and um and that's the way it works um if i was going to get one i would definitely get the newer one because that extra torque in the air would allow me to have you know more fun with it as a as an actual uav and then just click off the, dr the, the drone, man. Not deal with that computer, man, so much. Not deal with the GPS, man. But supposedly they've got the GPS more figured out and all that stuff. But, you know, this, this is the way it is, man. And you, like, communicate with this thing, man. You, like, you can plug it into the computer, man. And change the settings. And it comes with a very basic mode. You can update it and you can do a lot of other things. And you can get these things to do 360s, man. And then you can, like, update that thing right there, man, with that mini USB port, man. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. But, you know, they're 1300Gs, man. 1300Gs. That, that's it, man. Um, to be honest, to use these in a commercial-type setting, you're really going to need to spend more money. If you try to chintz out with this one... DJI has really crappy customer service because they're like in China and they just really don't give a fuck. Um, but they're trying to possibly up, redo some of their shit here. And, and I've gone through the electronics, but really, honestly, there's a lot of different platforms that I'm probably going to look into in the future um, and try to expand into because I have to be able to use this in more of a commercial type environment, more of a commercial type setting. Uh, this thing is, is, a, is a very, very cool toy, uh, but the fact that the GPS sometimes thinks it's some other place and you got to switch it into manual mode and doesn't have the torque, you know, just, you know, go for the newer version, which is the uh, upgraded motors and upgraded props. And I'm going to get off my soapbox and, and we're going to, like, have a good one, dude, because it's like, man, <laughs> I've been... Watching too much Californication or something, man. It's like, dude, peace out.